I had talked about sync toy before on using Windows Home Server .com, so you can check out our article there. But sync toy 2.1 is going to allow me to synchronize files between my PC and my Windows Home Server. So I've gone to the website. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to download the 64-bit setup package. I'm going to run the setup. I'm downloading now. Takes just a moment to bring up the exact file. It's going to extract everything. This is a very simple, straightforward install. Click on Accept. Click on Accept again to install the framework components. And after just a moment, SyncToy is set up and ready to install. Okay. Click on Next. Click on I Agree. Click on Next. Of course, you've read everything. Click on Next. And then it will go through the final installation. Again, this is for SyncToy 2.1 a product by Microsoft. As it completes the installation, you'll be able to set up the shares and exactly how it's going to work. We'll go through that coming up. Installation is complete. You can click on Close. It's now installed it to your computer, so I'm going to go down to Sync toy. I had to find it. I'm willing to participate in the program, that's okay. So now, once it comes up now, it's going to allow me to create a new folder pair. Now, all this is going to do is allow you to create a folder pair on one system or map drive and go to another system. So, create new folder pair. My left folder is going to be where it's coming from, so I'm going to click on desktop, okay, HTPC my videos and recordings. Now that's where I record this actual software files from what I'm doing here. So I click on OK. Click on Browse. I'm going to go to, scroll down, I'm going to go to Computer. Now notice here that I do not have currently right now listed my server. You actually have to do a mapped drive. You'll notice here that we do not have the drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly map a drive. So I'm going to go to my computer here. I'm going to double click on my computer. I'm going to scroll down here, right mouse click on network, map network drive. And I'll choose just the end drive, for example. Click on slash slash HP server. and then slash users and then click on finish now it's set up my users file you can see here that I have file for Andrew of course Delio 2 and some of the different computers now you can see here that users has automatically shown up open up HTPC now these are the files that are currently there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it recordings. Click on OK. Okay, now that I've gotten both folder pairs matched, I'm going to click on next. I'm going to click on echo. Call it recordings. and click on finish. Now that it has both of the recording files listed here, you can, again you can see I'm moving from users HTPC, which would be probably your name, videos, recordings, to the folder on the server. I click on run and now it's going to go through and check both folders, see what's where and where, and then move from left to right. And now it's transferring all of the recording folders that are listed, excuse me, recording files that are listed. You can see up here it's showing you which ones that it's transferring over. So I've got five files so far and it will go through and copy everything else. 
It did 21. You can see also here that I had a failure. The reason I had a failure is because I'm currently recording into that folder and that failure is the one that's currently recording now. So that's not going to show up. Sync toy is now done and everything's ready to go. Close it out and you are finished.